somebody. Hey, we're live from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm I'm in the beautiful home of the Red X. Jeremy, her husband behind there, we're doing our video camera. And this is Nomi. Wanted to share a little story about how Nomi and I met. Nomi is our director of communications. We met about in March, just most recently, just a few months ago on a layover in Korea. And of course, the rest is history. That is another whole segment that we can talk about. Anyways, Nomi became a director of Jai Lao as our communications person in June. And right afterwards, this whole flood incident happened. And thanks to her and her just quick leadership skills, because I was in Laos, she and the team of Jai Lao board members from all over Canada and the United States was able to just like take action because Jai Lao overnight basically grew into a different kind of organization. And we'll go into more details about that with you. Nomi actually will share more with you. So I wanted Nomi as our communications person, public relations, who's been reaching out to most of you out there to elaborate on Jai Lao's um, plans for our relief and rebuild effort. So here's Nomi Reddick, guys. Sabaini. Hi, my name is Nomi Reddick. I am uh, the director of communications for Jai Lao Foundation. Uh, we're live from Nashville, as Oila said. Um, I'll start with saying that I'm a little nervous. I rarely do something like this live. So I will just go ahead and jump right on in. The reason we are doing this video is that we are so excited to share some news with you guys. Two little tidbits that I'm personally excited about and we'll get to later. But before we get to that, I do want to just say thank you. Thank you so much for your support in Jai Lao and our mission. Um, it is because of your support that in the last one month, we were able to raise collectively more than what we have raised in the last five years combined. Um, sorry. Um, just to recap, we've raised in one month what we were able to raise in the last five years combined. That is amazing. Seeing our communities come together for a common cause is truly inspirational. And it is because of you and your support that we were able to achieve this. So I'm gonna jump right on in. Um, I'd like to share with you the three different phases that Jai Lao has implemented in response to the flood. Phase one is our assessment phase. Phase two is our relief phase. And phase three is the rebuilding. Uh, phase one began the moment that we got news of the flood. Our founder, Uila, was on a plane to Laos the very next morning. The purpose was for her to assess the situation and to determine what areas we felt were most in need. In this assessment phase, we distributed approximately $20,000. Uh, this came in the form of clothing, cooking wear, food, uh, ingredients, hygiene, toiletries, tents, family care packages, um, many different things, too many to name, and we will post all of this um, on, on our website later. Um, also, we have donated directly to Dr. Go at Sanam Sai District. Uh, this was made possible from Michael Alfaro and his wife, Lynn. Um, they have raised over $2,000 from the sales of the Jai Lao uh, t-shirts and all of those uh, donations that they were able to raise went directly to Dr. Go. Dr. Go was able to purchase much needed medical supplies um, at that time within the first few days of the flood. So I wanna say a special thank you to Michael Alfaro, uh, your tenacity, your courage in traveling halfway around the world to a country that you're so passionate about and you don't speak the language. Thank you. Thank you for your search and relief efforts as well. Uh, so let's move on. Phase two. Phase two is our relief. Uh, we plan to travel to Laos in November. We plan to donate over 2,000 care packages. And these care packages um, will include essential items such as 4,000 brand new rain boots, new jackets. Uh, I do want to include a side note real quick before I get into the rest. Uh, BB. Um, has been has reached out to the CEO of Goodwill regarding um, the needed much needed relief efforts and uh, Goodwill has pledged to donate 1500 coats and jackets as well as socks and anything else that we still stand in need of so a huge thank you to BB and also the CEO of Goodwill 
uh, for this cause. Um, also among some other things we will include in these care packages will be toys, school supplies, hygiene kits, uh, and cash donations. We're going to allot, they'll be allotted per family and it will be in the hardest hit villages is where we will do our cash donations to each family. Uh, moving on, this is something that I'm very excited about. This is tidbit number one. Um, as an ER trauma nurse, I'm excited to announce, and before I announce this, let me just give a shout out to Muki. Muki is our boots on the ground gal. She is from Pakse Laos. She is the one that is executing all of this that I'm about to share with you. So, uh, excited to announce that Chai Lao Foundation, along with your donations, have uh, ordered over $10,000 in medical supplies. We have been in contact with Dr. Ko since August 1, and we have been working diligently with him. He has been sending over spreadsheets. We have been obtaining quotes, which take time. Here in the U.S., we like our quotes today, right now. In Laos, it's different. It takes days, if not weeks. So without further ado, we will be donating an EKG machine, thanks to you guys. We will be donating um, medications, much needed medications, antibiotics, you guys, IV fluids, uh, such as lactated ringers and normal saline. We've got a thousand bottles of multivitamins, children's multivitamins. We've, we're, we're sending stethoscopes and laryngoscope blades, three examination beds lice treatment, much needed lice treatment, you guys. So those are just a few things to name. I won't go down the list. Um, also, side note, we will be posting all of this on our, our Facebook page as well as our website. Um, so moving on, that was phase two. Um, I do wanna add in phase two, a special thank you to all those that have donated articles of clothing and toiletries. Um, Uyla, um, in uh, San Ramon, California, as, as well as all the uh, people that are helping her to collect all of these items and package them. It takes a lot of time and effort. And I, so I want to thank all of you all, all of the donors, all of the volunteers that help put that together. That will also be a part of phase two. Let's move right on into phase three. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Before phase three, I just want to shout out to Vicki. Vicki, you have uh, been a huge help in the phase two and uh, it has been an honor and just a blessing that you're part of this um, relief effort. All right guys, phase three, phase three. So phase three, we're gonna be focused on the rebuilding. Uh, we're gonna be focused on the rebuilding of villages and homes and schools. And this is going to take a little longer. It's gonna take years. Once the government has resettled the villagers onto permanent land, is when we can initiate phase three. But uh, just know that in the end, we are, this is a long-term endeavor. This is not going to be a quick fix, but we are going to continue to focus on the mission of this. I do want to close. Oh, my second tidbit of exciting information. Okay, second information. So um, I do wanna close with this. We will be able, we are only able to accomplish all three phases because of you and your support. Um, together, we have raised over $200,000, $200,000. And like I said, this is more, we've raised this $200,000 in one month. That is more than what we have raised in five years. That is something to be truly proud of. And it is because of you. So. This is possible because of you, because, because of all of us. Again, to see our community come together for this common cause is truly inspirational. And I wanna close with, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Um, Ula, do you wanna say a few closing remarks? Hey, I'm the fun girl here. So, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took forever. Great huh? job, no, it's just in, in updating the public because um, half the time, a lot of people are out there not knowing what's going on. And there's a lot of things that Jalal does as board member behind the scenes that nobody knows. We like to kind of release that information after we do it. So we feel it's also important for you to know the process of it all. So yeah. I would like to actually have a special thank you to you too, Nomi, for being on board and helping <laughs> oh Jalal the past um, 
couple of months. It's been just, you know, with your help, with your guidance and your husband's expertise, we're able to do so much with Jalau growing again, as I said, from a small mom and pop organization to now basically a worldwide recognized and trusted organization. I, I do want to mention, she said worldwide, that is the truth. We have donors from New Zealand, from the UK, from Ken, from France, all, England, like literally all everywhere. The world. I have spoken to so many people that is reaching out and wanting to make a difference and to help in every little way that they can. Um, so again, thank you. I am doing this because it is a passion. It is something that I truly believe in with my whole heart. And to, to give back in such a way like this, and to be a part of what we all are building, you, us, a collective team, mm -hmm. helping the people of Laos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something that I will forever hold dear in my heart. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. It has been very inspirational to see the community on a global level come together like this. Never in Jalau's nine year of history have we seen this magnitude of love and support mm -hmm. and trust in our organi organization that has come in. So, so yes, on behalf of Jalau and all of our board members and all, our advisors and all the amazing supporters, past, previous, whatever it is that we've had, we want to thank you guys deeply from the bottom of our hearts. And the other reason why we are here is because another group of Lao Soy Lao Campaign, yeah, Soy Lao Campaign yes. is doing a fundraiser for us tomorrow. So we're here to meet the crew and yes. to be a part of this fundraiser. And do you like Tamahun? Yes. And if you've seen the, the Tamahun that I've made, please come out to support. It's the best Tamahun I've ever had in my life. This is my Tamagun queen. When I had her papaya salad, I was doing the happy dance. <laughs> she was. So, that made me want to do it more. Uh, so we're going to do happy dances tomorrow. If you are in Nashville tomorrow, it is at Center 615 mm -hmm. from 1 to 6. We will be uh, uh, with uh, Soy Lao campaign. Mm -hmm. And they will have uh, traditional cultural dances, mm -hmm. Buddhist monks, foods, raffles, name it. We're going to be there and we're going to have a great time. So please come and join us if you're here. We'll have La, we'll have myself, yeah. we'll have Ila Biep, our president. Our president will be there too yes. from Canada. So yes. please join us. Thank you so much.